What up, man? It's your boy Chris on Boxer. You checking in, man? URLTV.TV. This was a decent battle, man. It wasn't super crazy. I know a lot of people in the building, you know, got wrapped up in the energy of this of this battle. All I kept hearing was how great New Jersey Torque was and how dope Dougie was and how this was a crazy battle and this was one of the better battles, you know, of the day or whatever. And I think sometimes people get lost in the live versus the camera. You know what I'm saying? I've been to enough events and I try my best when I tell you something about a person that when I'm in the building, I try not to get caught up in the crowd reaction because that shit can be OD crazy. And we see it over the years, it's even more OD crazy now. You know what I'm saying? Now niggas are just ODing on crowd reaction at some of these battles. So you can get your mind wrapped up in thinking that a nigga is going super crazy. Now, when I first started thinking about doing this recap, I was going to go through who won, what rounds, and all this kind of stuff and break down the bars. And I thought, what for? You know what I'm saying? We don't give no sympathy rounds over at Unbiased Review. We don't give no you did pretty well rounds. We don't give no you almost. What did they say? Almost only counts in horseshoes. With that being said, New Jersey twerk 3-0. It is what it is, man. New Jersey twerk 3-0. Dougie, your first round was crazy. I'm not going to even front. You had a crazy first round. But you still lost the first. Yes, yes. I know it's hard to believe, my nigga. I know it's hard, but you still lost the first, my nigga. Second round, you was talking that street shit. You know what I'm saying? The 14 grams was older than I am. You know what I'm saying? You was talking that block shit. I had a cactus on the block. You know, you was talking that street shit. But the nigga had some shit in that second round, dog. The nigga had the, uh, the yo, what'd he say? Uh... Your lady who or whatever, he had that line in the second round. What else did he have in the second round? Um, he had that fucking orchestrate scheme or whatever. Yo, that nigga would have, twerk had some schemes on your ass. You know what I'm saying? And just when niggas thought, oh, this nigga Dougie was doing well, something about going second, man, just twerk just comes behind and just makes you kind of forget about Dougie's round a little bit. I'm not super crazy about twerk yet. I met him over the phone, you know what I mean? Him, me, him, and Norris had a phone conversation one day uh, about a month ago. Real cool dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, you can tell he's one of these dudes that's hungry about battle rap. He made it to the URL stage, and he's like, yo, I really want to show my talent. Whoever you throw in front of me, I'm a battle. He like, he, he got that, I just came from the bottom and I made it kind of mentality. He really don't give a fuck who you put in front of him. He ain't worried about them niggas beating him. And he is excited about the position he's in. And I, I kind of like that, man. I like that energy that, that he got. So, although I didn't know nothing about him, I was clowning him on his name, the whole twerk shit or whatever. So, I even had Dougie winning the battle 2-1 and him losing a round just on his name alone. Once I got to know him, I was like, okay, cool. I asked him what twerk mean. He said twerk was like putting in that work or something. It's like a jersey slang type shit. I'm like, my nigga, you twerk in Atlanta is putting in that work too. It's just a different kind of work my nigga you know what i'm saying but you put in that work with the atlanta twerk also you know it is what it is but anyway now that we didn't got past his name i don't like the way he started his rounds though i'm gonna be honest with you starts a little too slow too slow to warm up you know what i'm saying too slow to warm up and he seemed too nervous and forgot his bars especially in the second round i still gave him round two even though he pulled the jersey i just felt like he had a better second round and he got enough of his second round off to where i didn't even count the jersey shit you know what i'm saying but he seemed nervous he had the whole you know pass me my phone shit like he forgot his bars over his audio that's just like a rookie mistake at the end of the day and um, i think over time he'll learn what i don't want to do man I grew up a Jay-Z fan. Jay-Z is the GOAT to me. Just me personally, man. I grew up a Jay-Z fan. I like niggas in the South. Like, T.I. was my favorite Southern you know, southern rapper or whatever. But, you know, when it came to, like, rappers, I was a T.I. fan. But you never want to be one of these niggas that like the old shit and can never appreciate the new shit. And, and that's where you can be sometimes. Like, even though I like and grew up liking a lot of Jay-Z shit, I still can appreciate a future. I still can appreciate a two chains. I still can appreciate a rich homie Quan and shit like that. In Atlanta, all we got is fucking club music with niggas with catchy ass hooks and shit like that. That you be like, yo, these niggas wouldn't even have survived in a Jay Z era. And you can get wrapped up in a thinking everybody is trash. And you don't gotta like these niggas because I'm pretty sure when Jay Z and 
all these niggas was doing their thing and you had, you know, Atlanta had to fucking snap music and, and, and fucking lean with it, rock with it. And, and yep, look at my white tee and all this shit. D4L, rest in peace, Shawty Low with the whole Laffy Taffy and, and Florida had the booty shake music. It was some old niggas then looking at that shit thinking, these niggas corny. And we was in that era like, shit, this shit is fire. So when I look at like a young nigga rapping, you know what I'm saying, 17, 18, 20, and he on the radio and he rapping, I try not to be overly critical because I realize I didn't grow up in that era. These niggas are 90 babies, you know what I'm saying? I didn't grow up in that era to where I like their music. So I don't want to become a hater like you the nigga that kind of like the old shit and you hate on all the new shit. So when I look at these battle rappers, I don't want to just be like, oh man, this nigga twerk and this nigga Dougie, he ain't, these niggas ain't verb. These niggas ain't be magic. These niggas ain't going to never be verb and never be be magic. It just is what it is. You got to try to figure out who the fuck you going to fuck with in this era, what it is about them you can like and what it is about them you can appreciate. That's all it is at the end of the day. And, and some niggas are going to rise above the pack, but I don't think we should just look at a dude and just be like, yo, this nigga is whack. Some of these niggas are whack. I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't like all these niggas. I, I keep it real. I could do a top five whack PGs right now or a top five how the fuck did you make it a URL list off top? Like Dot. A nigga who don't even be rhyming. Like, like it is some whack niggas. Don't get it fucked up. But I don't know, man. I think sometimes we got to give a nigga a chance. At least give a nigga two or three battles or whatever. And at least another battle at the end of the day. This was just a proven ground battle. So I don't want to be overly critical. And, you know, speaking of that. Dougie, let me talk to you for a minute, my nigga. Because I'm trying to figure out. One thing, sometimes I watch a battle and niggas just say dumb shit and just make me want to say they lost the battle. Now, you got the audacity, Stephen A. Smith, the temerity, Stephen A. Smith, the unmitigated gall, Stephen A. Smith voice, to say New Jersey twerk is a clone. Nigga, New Jersey twerk has his own style, his own fucking style. It don't matter if you like the style. It ain't a nigga in battle rap right now that rap like that nigga. He got his own fucking style. He got his own fucking look. He don't even look like another rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't another nigga right now that even look like him. Dougie look like a young surf. He don't rap like surf to me, but he look like a young surf. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was saying Mr. Wavy sound like surf. All these certain niggas sound like other niggas, but New Jersey Twerk got his own style. So how the fuck are you going to call him a clone repeatedly? In the round. Nigga, I wanted to give you a loss of a round just off that alone. I hate when niggas just say shit that don't make sense in a battle. Because you from We Go Hard, all you niggas sound the same to me. And the only niggas I really, really like is Jerry West, Chess is cool, Steams is alright, and shit like that. But a lot of y'all niggas sound the same. Mo Moolah I fuck with from that. From uh, He ain't even from We Go Hard, even though he battled on it at one time. I think he's from like Coliseum Battle League or some shit like that. But, yo, y'all niggas are more clones than New Jersey twerk. That was the first thing. Second of all... So when you start thinking you get paid off PG battles, I'm confused. You get your one shot on URL, you got the nerve to call Smack out, talking about you finally got to the stage and you should be getting paid. Nigga, the beginning of your battle says proving grounds. I don't even know if you realize that. It doesn't matter that it was on Born Legacy. It was labeled a proving ground battle. So when you get paid on PGs, you don't. So you got to learn, nigga, you would be lucky to get another battle with the shit you said again. You know about smack, nigga. I wouldn't even book you no more if I was URL. I'd be like, yo, I can't. I put this nigga on one of the biggest cards on URL in 2016, and he got the nerve to, to throw 16 bars at me, the league owner. You wouldn't even be booked no more for that foolishness you spit. How you gonna get paid on a PG battle, yo? Anyway, twerk 3-0. I'm by for you. Subscribe to the channel.